One in three girls in the U.S. will be the victim of physical, emotional, or verbal abuse from a dating partner. Those are disturbing statistics. February is National Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month, and the House of Ruth is doing something to change that reality. Lisa Nitsch is the Director of Training and Education with House of Ruth, and she's joining us with more on a new initiative that you all have. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? That's just one statistic. Um, right. I mean, there, there are so many, and all of them are, are equally scary. Yes. What, what do you all experience day to day with these young girls? You know, what's interesting, it's not just girls, it's also boys. At this rate, we're seeing more mutual abuse. Uh, boys okay. are more likely to use and sexual violence. Mm -hmm. Girls are more likely to use emotional abuse and verbal abuse. But the, you know, who's getting physically injured, who's showing up in hospitals, we're seeing more young women than we are young men. Um, interesting about this age bracket is that for adults, they tend to be able to identify, I'm in an abusive relationship. Teens rarely do. And so we really are depending on the community to help us with this issue. And so what is this initiative you all have? So what we're trying to do is shift, shift away from just talking to teens about what happens if you're a victim and really help young people identify how they can be a good bystander. Standard. Young people are more likely to witness the violence than mm -hmm. adults when we're talking about teen dating violence. So we want our young people to be prepared to help a friend. We also want to make sure that students, uh, that teachers, coaches, other parents, everybody is talking about this in young people's lives so that we can create a community where this is unacceptable. So it's less likely that a teen's going to come and say, I'm in an abusive relationship. It's more likely that a friend's going to say, I don't like what I saw happening to my friend. So we want everybody to be equipped. So how do you train those people? I mean, are there courses? Are there, how do you it depends on the audience, do absolutely. That. So we tailor, we tailor trainings to our audience. So we have um, trainings for coaches. So how do you work in the concept of teen dating violence and okay. what you're already doing every day? If it's an English teacher, how can we weave that theme into your lesson plan? <laughs> so we help folks work that content into what they're already doing. Because even though this is Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month, House of Ruth Maryland wants us to be talking about this issue sure. every day. Do people come to you and say, hey, I know you offer this training, I, I would like to get involved with it, or do you go out into the community um, and have specific Pe people a in little places of both. you do. So we, we, have career, we have materials prepared for teachers. We're ready for coaches. Um, we encourage everybody to get in touch. You can go to our website, www.hruth.org, or even use our hotline. People always think you need to be a victim of intimate partner violence to use our hotline, but they were there for friends and family, for parents who don't know how to talk to a young person. You're not okay. sure how to start the conversation. Call a 24-hour hotline. Now, when you say that adults, women, will know more, I'm in an abusive relationship, but the, the mm -hmm. kids don't understand that or see that. What, That's right. What do you, do they not know? Well, lots of times young people um, will confuse infatuation and possessive behavior mm -hmm. with romance. Okay. That, you know, the fact, you know, the average teen sends 250 texts a day. If you say that to an adult, that is clearly an abusive behavior, but right. it's not necessarily abusive in a teen relationship. So this idea they have limited time together, and when they do, it's sort of overly romantic. And so jealousy, controlling behaviors, can really be confused with somebody who really cares about me and is romantic. Okay. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I appreciate it. All right.